Hello guys, welcome back. It's Matt here, and today we are taking a look at this microphone right here. This is the Fifine Amplagame A8, and I thought, why not do a review video with the microphone so then I don't really need to do an audio test, you can just watch the video and hear exactly how this microphone sounds. Now this microphone is primarily geared towards gamers, so this is for people who want to stream and actually talk over their game live to people online. But you could also go ahead and use this for podcasts or even just YouTube videos like I am right now or a YouTube live or even just social media. It might be a little bit overkill sometimes, but this is a very fair price microphone and I can say it sounds pleasantly nice. It's got really nice highs, really clear vocals, and then the bass is subtle, but it is there. It isn't like super punchy. So this microphone plugs in via USB-C. There is actually a port on the bottom you plug in comes with a USB-C to type A cable, so you can go and plug it into your standard type A USB port. And then on the bottom, you also have a headphone jack. So if you wanna plug in some headphones and actually live listen to how you're sounding, you can go ahead and do that. You might wanna do that if you're doing podcasts, or for example, if you're playing games, you're gonna to wanna to plug your headphones into this because not only can you hear your voice, but you can actually use this as an audio pass-through. So your game audio will actually come through the USB-C into the microphone and then out through the headphone jack into your headphones. So you can hear your own voice as well as the game audio or any audio on your desktop. In terms of the build and the design, I actually quite like it. It's not very big. It's quite a small microphone and it does come with an included stand. Now, obviously I've mounted this to a mechanical arm I have just to get it nice and close to my face, but it does come with a desk stand and this desk stand is nice. It's plastic, but it is pretty hefty. It has some weight to it. It's grippy on the bottom as well, so you're not going to actually get it moving around on the desk. Now, if you are a person that kind of knocks your desk, you're gaming, you get frustrated, you bang your mouse down, you might be a little bit worried about whether the microphone will pick that up, but this is actually pretty directional, pretty focused towards your vocals, and also it's got this really nice shock absorbent mount in here with all these sort of rubber bands that kind of hold the microphone within this frame. So if there is any motion or knocks or bumps, it's going to go ahead and stabilize your microphone and it's not going to pick it up. In terms of pricing, I actually picked this up for £50, which is a pretty good price for a microphone. I honestly think it's pretty decent sounding for that price point. You are only getting a plastic build, so the actual mount, the base, and the microphone itself is plastic. However, it's kind of this nice matte black, and it doesn't look cheap. It doesn't feel very cheap either. It does have some weight to it. The only thing that is actually metal is this little pop filter on the front here. So there's this mesh pop grid on the front which goes ahead and sort of reduces those sharp sounds in your audio when you're talking. So all those sort of sharp S sounds and T sounds, it's gonna go ahead and try and reduce those from peaking in your audio. So as you probably noticed, this thing actually changes color. So there is RGB lights built into here. So if you have an RGB setup like me, this is really nice because you can actually color match the microphone to your desk layout. So you can actually change it via this button on the back here. So if you click that button, it will change through various different preset colors. However, there's also some really nice gradient colors built in as well, which kind of fade between like a blue and purple. I really like that one. But then there's also just a transitioning mode, which just goes between all the different colors like it's doing right now. So it doesn't have any fixed color. It just cycles through them all. This microphone is actually a cardioid condenser microphone. So it picks up primarily from the side of the microphone, not actually the top, like a shotgun microphone. And then on the top here, you have this touch capacitive mute button. So if you're maybe going to say something that you shouldn't, you can go ahead and press that and it will go ahead and mute you. And now I'm unmuted. Now on the bottom back of this microphone, there is a small dial. So that is your gain control. So if you want to turn up the audio input levels, you can just twist that up to the positive side and it will go ahead and increase your audio levels and make your audio louder. So that's really nice. It's kind of annoying. It's on the back because you, you don't really know which way is up and down. So you might have to fiddle with it a bit or get used to it. But I was actually turning it down when I wanted to turn it up because it's backwards for me. So that can be a little bit annoying. But overall, I can say the microphone does sound good. I wish there was like a tad more bass. It's just got a little bit too much high for me. But overall, I would say this is great for if you're doing a podcast or if you're just doing a YouTube live or anything like that, then it's a pretty good microphone. I can honestly say if you're willing to spend more, then obviously you might get something a bit better. But for this price range, I can actually say this is a really good microphone. It kind of stacks up well, even against some of the high end microphones I have. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys think this sounds good, if it sounds bad. What are your thoughts on this microphone? Do you think it's worth the price? I personally do. I like the look of it. I like the sort of design and the color changing features. And the fact that it does sound good as well is always a benefit because it's in microphones. So yeah, that's my overall thoughts of the Fifine Ampligame 
A8. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace.